Greetings Nerfers, it's Necro from the Ministry of Foam here, and today we're going to look at 3D printed sledgefire shells that use ammunition other than the standard darts. All of the designs are found on Thingiverse, and the links will be in the description below. Also, once again, apologies if I mispronounce any of the designers' names. The four designs I printed were by Radioactive52, Devil's Mods, and Finnish Dragon. As with my previous review, only one of the designs came with suggested print settings, so I used these for all of the prints so as to get a standard comparison. My printer is an Ender 3, and I use standard PLA with 0.1mm resolution and 20% infill. All of the designs printed with no major problems, though there was a bit of cleanup required on some of the models. Using alternative ammunition will require you to modify your sledge fire to both accept the shells and allow the rounds to exit the barrel. My sledgefire has been modified with air restrictor removal, a C792 spring, and filing down of the dart barrier in the barrel. Results may vary for you if your blaster has been modified differently. Okay, onto the review. Rival. It took a while to find rounds that would fit into the shell properly. However, I suspect this has more to do with the variability of the rounds themselves than the shell. Depending on how you want to pack them in, you can get up to three rounds in the shell. As you'd expect, you get better distance and accuracy from a single round, but a shotgun-like results from multiple rounds. Mega, there are two styles of shell available, internal and external. The external shell is quite a bit more difficult to use and much slower to change out or reload than the internal shell. The amount of dead space in the shell also makes it underpowered in comparison to the internal shell and it gave a decidedly lackluster performance. Though it is worth noting that the design is a work in progress, so it may be worthwhile to keep an eye out for updates. The internal shell is basically a large version of the normal single shells, though with a distinctly more streamlined look. The Mega Darts fly really well from this. As expected, you don't get the same sort of distance as for a standard sized dart, but it still has quite the kick and accuracy is particularly good. The Boomco shell didn't have quite the performance I was expecting, with the results being highly variable. I think this may be due to the flat base of the shell not being particularly forgiving to my less than perfect modification and so not creating brilliant seal. I may try and make some post print amendments to the shell to see if this can be counted. Overall, I found the internal mega shell to be the most effective, being both easy to use and producing the best results. I was also amused to work out that you can lodge a rival round into the end of the shell and still get it to fire successfully, though somewhat less than spectacularly. The flexibility to use alternative ammunition is great, especially in low capacity matches where scavenging is an option, or if your cats have run off with your normal darts and you need to switch to something else. So, are there any other alternative ammunition options you'd like to be investigated, or do you have any printed accessories you'd like us to review? If so, let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you on the field.